So yes, my beautiful people, now I'm just gonna put it in the pressure cooker. I'm gonna pressure it, give it 15 minutes in the pressure cooker to pressure because if I don't put it in the pressure cooker, it's gonna take the whole day for cook. So I wash it already, I already cleaned them up already. So now I'm just gonna put them in the pressure cooker and give that 15 minutes. So I will see you guys in a bit. Yes, my beautiful people. So what I'm gonna do now? I'm just gonna prepare the rest of the stuff. Them, I cut up the carrot already. I already wash everything. I already peel every everything already. So right now, the head of the okra. I'm just gonna cut off the head of the okra. So I'm just gonna cut them in two. So the okra gonna be the last thing I'm gonna add in the soup. I don't want my okra to broil white out in my soup. I want a little bit of crunch in my okra when I'm drinking my soup. So it's a beautiful recipe we're doing in Selvin Kitchen, guys. So sit back, enjoy this beautiful recipe, and please give me a thumbs up for the video. Yes, my beautiful people, so the goat fit, I've been pressured for the last 15 minutes. 15 minutes, that's one five. Just gonna add it in this pot now. And then I'm gonna add in some punk in it. I just want the pumpkin to give it a color. Let that pumpkin boil along with that goat fit foot or with that cold meat. Yes, my beautiful people. So in Salvin Kitchen today, guys, we're making a beautiful soup, delicious soup. Cause it's winter time now and the place is cold. So we need some soup to warm up our body. So I had in the pumpkin already. And then we're just gonna add in some chocho. Chocho is a form of vegetable. You can boil the chocho and eat it. You can put it in soup like what I'm doing right now. Or you can put it in curry. You can put it in brown stew. You can put it in a lot of stuff for your cooking. So right now I'm just gonna roll up some small dumpling. I'm just gonna put them in. I'm gonna do some big dumpling and I'm gonna do some small one. We call it spinners. When we're cooking stew beef, we must roll up the dumpling and put them in like that. So enjoy this beautiful recipe in Selvin Kitchen, guys. And please give me a thumbs up for the video because Selvin Kitchen, we have a lot more recipe coming out. Yes, my beautiful people. So this has been cooking down for the last 20 minutes, people. So I put in the chocho and the pumpkin already boil out already. So now I'm just gonna add in the sweet corn. It's gonna add in the sweet corn. I'm gonna add in the carrot, I'm gonna add in the yam, I'm gonna add in the potato. Everything is going in there now, people. Give that a nice stir. Now I'm gonna add in the pimento allspice. I'm gonna season up my pot right now. So that is the pimento allspice. And I'm gonna add in the onion, the garlic, and the all peppers. Give that a nice stir. The last thing I'm gonna put in the pot is the okra because I don't like my okra to boil right out. I'm gonna add a little bit more water to it. Your soup has to have some color when it boiling soup, people. I don't like a bland soup. This is my way to cook soup. So now I'm just gonna add in scotch bunny pepper. I'm just gonna leave it on the top. I don't want that to burst. I'm just gonna leave it right there. Then spring onion. Just gonna twist it. 
crush it up in my hand, twist it like that, put it right down in the pot. I ain't gonna cut it up, twist it, chop it like that. It's gonna sink it right to the bottom. So I want the flavor of that spring onion to come straight to the top from the bottom. And I had in a piece of dry thyme to have no fresh thyme today. So the dry thyme, as I said before, the dry thyme give it the same flavor, the same taste, the same texture, everything like the fresh thyme. Then I had in the cut noodle. Just gonna rip it apart. So I'm just gonna have one cut noodle because if you have two cut noodle, your soup I got too thick. I don't like my soup too thick. It's gonna give it a stir now. I don't had add a little bit of salt to it, not too much salt, just a little touch of salt. And then I'm gonna make this boil for a good 10 minutes before I check it if we need any more salt. Because the cat noodle, I've been salting it. I'm gonna put on the lid on that, give that a good 10 minutes. Yes, my beautiful people. So the soup been cooking down nicely. The sweet corn. Oh, look at that, my beautiful people. So now, what I'm gonna do now? So for the train, the train passing people, to the, when the train pass, make a lot of noise, because I live right side near the train station. This pepper, I keep eye on it, I'm gonna keep this pepper right there. I'm just gonna add a little bit in my hand and taste it if you need any more salt. Yeah, I think I'm gonna add just a, a little touch of salt off of it. So now, I'm just going to add in the okra. I'm going to give that five minutes and then it's good to go. Beautiful, nice soup in Selvin Kitchen today, guys. Winter is here and it's cold, so we need some soup on our body. Yes guys, this is all finished guys. This is a beautiful, delicious soup. As I said before guys, this is the winter time over here now and the place is cold. So we need some soup to warm up our body. We need to drink a lot of soup to strengthen up our bone and our body. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you don't subscribe, please subscribe before you go. And please like the video before you go people. And please check out the rest of my page. I have a lot of awesome, delicious recipe here. So please check it out, guys. And please share and like the video. Self in Kitchen. I will see you guys in the next video. Stay safe. Work good. A lot of love from Self in Kitchen.